why do golf balls have dimples? You might expect the answer to be very scientific, but in fact, that's completely far from the truth. Originally, golf balls with dimples simply just didn't exist. Original golf balls were made of wood, which means generally they weren't perfectly round, but also the surfaces were smooth. And here's the fun part. The addition of dimples wasn't down to science or structured testing. It really was just an accident. Yes, really. Players found out that when they were using scuffed balls that had been damaged over time, the ball fly was a lot more consistent. This led golf ball manufacturers to start etching patterns onto the surface of the golf ball to get that more consistent flight that people were craving for. Over time, this evolved and become the dimples that we see today. So why do dimples make the ball flight more consistent? Well, the uneven surface that the dimples create actually creates turbulence against the air. It forms two pockets of air that move around the golf ball at different speeds. This helps reduce drag and allows the golf ball to travel better and further through the air. Dimples also increase lift. This is because backspin increases lift as it imparts more air pressure under the golf ball. So having dimples also allows you to hit the golf ball higher. Essentially, golf balls without dimples are just a lot harder to control, and this is because of the inconsistency and how the air moves over that smooth surface. So how many dimples do you need on your golf ball? Well, this really varies from manufacturer to manufacturer, and generally you'll see the dimple mark in between the three and 500. Although the Mizuno RB566 have 566 dimples and a really unusual dimple pattern, which made them stand out so much when they first got released. Dimple amounts even change from model to model within different brands. For example, the Pro V1 has 352 dimples compared to 328 with the Pro V1X. Now, size and shape of dimples also varies from ball to ball. You'd see typically with most manufacturers such as Titleist, the dimples are round. However, you see when you move into brands such as Callaway, they prefer to use hexagonal dimples. There are some rules on how dimples have to be structured over the golf ball. The rules of golf state that you can't have more dimples on one side or the other and that they have to be symmetrical because otherwise your golf ball just wouldn't fly straight. Right, that's all for today. If you have any questions about golf ball dimples or even just golf balls, let me know in the comments below. And if you're after more golf content, head over to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.